Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. It is so good to be back after a long pause. But anyway, so yesterday I posted a tweet in regards to the premiere of Gotham Knights. Basically, there's been some rumors regarding this game. And, you know, it was officially announced already in the DC fandom this last August. So basically they showed up where it's like about seven plus minutes of actual gameplay, including Robin and Batgirl. So we're going to take a look at that in a few seconds. But I also wanted to mention this game is set to be released during, you know, 2021, not an actual date, but it's going to be available for PC, PS4 and 5, Xbox 360 and the Series X. But, you know, what is it that we know so far up to this point? I'm sure a lot of you are curious about. So we're going to tell you right now what is it that we know so far about the game. So let's go. In breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the We're city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. This story is evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We are just really loud. Boom. There was smoke. Everywhere. Emergency services have confirmed that they've discovered a body buried. All right, friends, so this is everything that we know so far about the game. So the game will take place in Gotham City as an open world. However, there will be a new vision to the city. You know, you will be able to see some new locations that have been inspired from multiple versions, you know, previously seen across comic books, movies and TV shows. According to Patrick Redding, the locations and places that they are going to include here are going to be iconic, that have a rich history in the industry. Now, the game will also include a living ecosystem where you will be able to see people traveling to their workplaces, local grocery stores, you'll be able to see traffic congestions, or people running home from their train station. And of course, there will be multiple criminal factions that you'll have to interact with whenever necessary. As an open world action RPG, Gotham Knight is inspired and shaped by the wider Batman franchise. Although it's not a continuation though, but it's more like something new, something that has not been seen before, something unexplored. All of this is happening, of course, after Batman's apparent death and it's up to these new heroes, you know, to take on the streets of Gotham City to continue with the Dark Knight's role mission. You know, I'd like to mention that despite some of the speculation that this game was going through, you know, that it was supposed to be an online service only, has been confirmed by Warner Bros. that you will be able to play through the complete campaign offline and by yourself. Additionally to what it has been also confirmed, that you will be able to play up to two players together as an online community and under a cooperative mode. All right, folks, so let's talk a little bit about of the heroes and combat styles that will be available on the game. So the main characters will be Batgirl, Nightwing, Robin, and Red Hood. Now, it is said that their methods and fighting styles are noticeable distinct from each other, making a mix of gameplay styles, whether if you're adventuring solo or on a two-player co-op mode. Now, according to Redding, their styles will differ from one another. For example, you will have Red Hood on one hand, which is a brutal brawler with a focus on gunplay. On the other hand, you will have Nightwing, which focuses on the acrobatics, leading to a more exaggerated kind of like style of fighting. While in the current state, you know, Robin, who favors stealth, uses a status effect to disrupt enemies. And lastly, well, you will have Batgirl. She combines a laser focus with a lot of resilience and the ability to weaponize her environment using hacking techniques. Now, each hero will have a unique ability, according to what they mentioned. They will have also their own skill tree and craftable gear with experience gained throughout the activities that you will be able to find on the open world. All right, now talking about the main villains, well, you know, there's sure to be multiple bad guys standing between the Gotham Knights and the safety of Gotham City, but we know so far that one of them is Mr. Freeze, like, you know, a cryogenetics expert. Not too much information in regards to the villains that will appear on the game. However, you know, regardless of whether you're dealing with a small street gang on a corner somewhere or dealing with a major server villain like Mr. Freeze, those are actual works from Mr. Redding. Villain crimes will play out, you know, like a over multiple nights, a series of encounters where the players have to do a certain amount of legwork and detective work to hunt down the villains in the next major confrontation all right everyone so this is the video i had prepared for you today i hope that you have enjoyed make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and as always i hope that you have an amazing rest of the day all right see you on our next video take care everyone